Hi everyone, my name is Matt Corcoran and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own stitch brush and how I went about creating the stitches for this bracer. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want is your base model and so here you can see I have the bracer and it's pretty simple topology right now. The second thing that you're going to want is to create your actual stitch. So here you can see my stitch is pretty simple it's uh, several cylinders and tubes and there is an open opening on both sides of the cylinder and there's the stitches so this is going to be the stitch on the inside and this is going to be the overlapping stitch so the other important thing to do is to make sure that it's UV'd so if we look at the UV's we can see that I've, I've laid them out. This is going to be important later because when you go to add a, a texture map to it later you can add a really high res fabric pattern design to the stitches and uh, it'll be seamless all the way across the model. It's also important to make sure that it's fairly low res. You don't want it to be too high res because this, there's going to be thousands of these possibly on your model. Depends how complex you create it. Looking down at top view, we're going to go up to brush and hit create insert mesh and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to go back to my model and I'm going to draw on it and you can see because I went from top view that it's placing the brush on the model in the correct direction. So let's go to stroke, curve and add curve mode. And now when I draw, it draws a curve and places the, the stitch brush across as a curve. But now you can see that, that it's going the wrong direction. So to fix that, we're going to go back to our stitch brush. We're going to change the direction. So the first time we were looking at it from this direction. And this time we're going to look at it from this direction. And just do the same thing again. So go to brush, create insert mesh. And I'm just going to hit new. And then back to a bracer. Let's turn on stroke curve mode. Now when I draw, you can see that they're going the right direction. But now we have a second problem, and that's that they're disconnected and not welding together. So that's very easy to fix. So you just go to brush, open up your brush palette, go down to modify, and we're going to click weld points. Now when I draw, it welds all of those open cylinders together. So even if I add a subdivision to it, you can see it's smooth all the way across the model. So how do I go about applying this to the model? First thing you're going to want to do is go into lasso select mode. And what that's going to let me do is isolate an edge loop. But first, let's store a morph target. So we need one, we're going to need one more subdivision to get a nice layout. So we'll go to morph target, and let's store a morph target, and then subdivide, and then go back down to subdivision one and hit switch, and then go back up to subdivision two. And what that did was it kept the main form of my mesh without smoothing it completely out. Let's isolate an edge loop. Now this this part's really cool. So with the edge loop hidden, now if you draw next to the edge and then hold down shift while you're on that edge, oh, it doesn't want a subdivision. So let's let's delete that subdivision. So there's no subdivisions now. And if I draw on the edge and hold down shift you can see that it's snap all of the open edges and I'm going to hit let go and it put the stitch all the way across the model and then if I hit the curve just once be very careful you don't move it because if you move it you can do this so I'm just going to tap it once and it propagates itself all the way across and makes it a little bit uh, nicer so 
there's a few things we need to do. It's it's sitting on top of the model, and that might be what you want, but in this case I want it to actually sit inside the model. And we're gonna need to change the size. So f let's get the size first. So we're going to turn on brush dynamic, and that way you can control the size no matter if you're like zooming in or zooming out you'll still have the same size brush so let's it's looking better let's make the size a little bit bigger let's try five that looks pretty good okay so now let's open up the brush palette again we're going to open up depth and inside depth we're going to turn this embed down to zero and so now when I click on the edge, you can see it embeds it into the model, which is much nicer. The next step to making this even nicer is you can see that this inside stitch is just a little too big. We're going to go back to the stitch brush. Now let's just scale this down. Right about there should be good. And let's just make this brush again. And once you've learned the steps, it's pretty fast to recreate all this. So let's create insert mesh, hit new. Go back to our bracer. Let's undo so that there's no more stroke. And then let's turn on curve mode. And then go to modify and turn on weld points and then depth back down to zero and draw size is five and now when I click near the edge and hold down shift it snaps on and you can see now how it's super tight together so if I just click the curve once it it smooths it out a little bit makes it a little bit nicer and there you can see the stitch the inside stitch is much closer to the surface which looks a lot better To accept the stroke, like you just click the surface once, and you can see the curve disappeared, and now that is part of the model. You're not going to get a perfect uh, stitches everywhere. You're going to have to take the move topological brush and just go in and push the ones that are sticking out in a little bit more, or pull them out if you need to. Lasso select, we're going to isolate this and then draw. Oop, got the wrong brush. So let's open up the latest brush. I put the draw size back down to 5. And this is where it's helpful to use brush dynamic because now when I draw on this edge, I know that this stitch brush and this stitch brush are going to be the exact same size. Sometimes it's easier to use uh, a mouse just to click once. There we go. So that looks good. I'm going to click the model and accept that. And that looks pretty good. Drawing near the edge and holding down shift and then letting go. And then click the curve once. Now you can see on this one, the stitches are completely disappearing. So I think the reason for that is that this geometry might be a lot thicker, but you can see it on the inside. So let's try isolating the opposite curve. So let's isolate this one this time and then draw. And there you go. So now more of the stitches are popping up. So now that you have your stitches, let's go ahead and separate it from the leather. So if you go into wireframe mode, you can see that there's different poly groups. 
and the stitch brush actually created poly groups for each one of the stitches which is very helpful so I'm going to isolate everything but the stitches and then over here under subtool you can open up split and hit split hidden and what that did was it made a new subtool with the hidden geometry and just the stitches. So now they're both separated from each other. And so there you have it a bracer with stitches. Thanks for watching.